During the Napoleonic Wars, of course, uh, most British soldiers anyway carried a blanket, um, but we don't see many references to exactly how they were used. Uh, of course, obviously, cover up at night. But Lieutenant George Simmons of the 95th Rifles wrote an account of how he used a blanket on a notoriously cold and wet night prior to the Battle of Waterloo. And he said that he was relying on an old trick from the Peninsula Wars, the campaigns between 1808 and 1814 uh, in Portugal and Spain. What he said was that you just uh, needed a strap and your blanket. So which strap did George have in mind? We don't know, he didn't say. But at the, uh, by the end of the campaigns in Portugal and Spain, most infantrymen had a mess tin attached to their uh, knapsack by a strap. And we're going to use that strap because it's one that was going to be freely available. Simmons' technique was quite simple. Fold the blanket, roughly a third line, so one third, two thirds, pass your strap through the fold and sling it round your shoulders. You can do the strap up quite snugly in fact. And then Pull your cape around to a uh, suitable level of comfort, and there you have it. It's actually uh, quite a sensible uh, arrangement, as you have two levels of blanket uh, around your body core for maximum warmth. The end of the blanket doesn't drag in the mud, and there was plenty of it at Waterloo. Uh, and uh, on a uh, slightly more slender a soldier from the period, or a slightly larger blanket, the blanket would go right round, no worries. And of course, it was remarkably practical. You had hands free for life's essentials. George said that he was uh, perhaps no less wet, but certainly a lot warmer. So there you go, a little slice of history from the 2nd 95th Rifles Australia, Living History Group.